Greetings everyone, got a special midweek video for you here. Video for you here. It's Wednesday, hope you all are having a great Wednesday. I um, want to let you know about a special event coming up in March uh, in Gallenberg, Tennessee, and that is an independent film festival known as Gallenberg Screen Fest. And I've got a special guest with me here today. No, it's not my coffee mug, but as you can see, all the interviewing greats have their coffee mug of choice. And some good Diet Coke. But anyway, but yeah, Gallenberg Screen Fest. I got a special guest with me here today. Uh, this guy is a really good friend of mine, and uh, we've known each other for years. We actually got to do some acting together in a murder mystery dinner theater show, and I had fun with him. You might recognize him from the Food Challenge videos. Um, uh, he is the founding father of Gatlinburg Screen Fest, Mr. Jesse Black. Jesse, have a seat. All right. How you doing? Doing good. How are you doing today? Tim? I'm doing really well. It's uh, good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be here. Awesome. Well, I'm uh, going to talk a little bit. <clears throat> Jesse's going to let us know a little bit about Screen Fest. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it. I remember when Gatlinburg Screen Fest was nothing more than a mere Microsoft Word document yeah. on your laptop. I ran into you at the public <laughs> library and you were on your laptop, you were squirrely, you know, working away and I said, dude, what, what are you doing? You're like, oh, I'm, I'm working on putting on this, this, putting this independent film festival together in, uh, in Gatlinburg. Don't, don't tell anybody, really hush, hush. <laughs> and, uh, and you showed me the outline and everything, and, and sure enough, a few years later, I mean, it, it came to fruition. This guy is impressive. He gets stuff done. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway, anyway uh, last year uh, was the very first Gatlinburg Screen Fest. As you can see, I'm wearing my T-shirt from 2009. And, um, yeah, it was really fun. Uh, Jamie and I both went, uh, saw some really awesome films, really great films. And the cool thing about independent filmmakers is that you know you can go to a movie theater and you can see a big budget film like Avatar, which is really cool and everything. But a lot of those you know directors and writers are you know, writers don't have as much you know creative freedom. I mean, they're, they're tied to the studio and yeah. the studio saying we want this, we want that, you know. Spider-Man 3, to give you an example. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, but the thing about independent filmmakers is a lot of them have a lot of creative freedom and they can do pretty much whatever they want, you know? And it's really cool to see what they put on film. A lot of these films, you know, you can't even really tell the difference between a major, you know, motion picture and independent film and a lot of them got nationwide releases. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there, there was a lot of cool events uh, there, um, I know you guys had like an auction for some antique yeah. camera equipment last year, <laughs> which is really cool. So uh, anyway, yeah, uh, tell us what we can expect this year at Gatlinburg Screen Fest. You know, well, first of all, what made you want to put uh, Screen Fest together? What made you? Oh, uh, the reason I put it together is just because I just thought it'd be a great idea for Gatlinburg. Yeah, I think uh, Gatlinburg uh, is a town that that could harbor something like this. Yeah. Uh, beyond that, it's something that uh, I'm passionate about. I love films. Yeah. Um, and then to see these people, these filmmakers, and put their passion into the work, and like you said, not have the restraints of, yeah. of the big corporations or whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, but beyond that, from a fest, from a festival atmosphere, the the coolest thing to me last year was uh, being able to watch these films and sit in the same theater with the actors yes. and the directors yeah. that were actually up on the screen. Yeah, that was one thing that that was always cool to me and and to portray to people is the fact that when you go watch these films, chances are you're sitting in the same theater yeah. of the people that's up on the screen. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that's kind of the idea we went for is is we just want people to come out and enjoy these films. You know, yeah. I, I'm a film fanatic, obviously, and, uh, and I, I think everybody can attribute to films impacting their life in some, some way or another. Yeah, and, and like Jesse said, you know, I, I sat in a film, I, I got to see a uh, uh, Boys of Somerville, mm -hmm. which was a local movie that they shot here, which I had a teensy weensy tiny <laughs> role in. Uh, very important, though. Very, very important. important, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> and Boys of Somerville comes out on DVD nationwide March 9th. So, anyway, uh, but yeah, Boys of Somerville, um, really great film. Uh, I got to see a movie called Barstool Cowboy. Oh, yeah. You can check out the trailer for that on YouTube, actually. And, you know, yeah, that one got picked up for distribution, too. Yeah. Actually, out of the 10 films that we screened last year of the uh, official selections, five of them got picked up for distribution. Yeah. yeah. So I think that attributes uh, to uh, 
they were doing something good for the filmmaker by yeah. getting their name out there and getting this film 